All right, Eric, moving on to the next one. Um, here, we talk about the challenges that people have with um, their video service delivery. And we have the usual suspects of latency, video quality, buffering, channel change times, and scalability. So let's go to the slide, Eric, that actually gives the, the ranking results on this, or sorry, the pie chart results on this. Far and away, a major concern is being able to maintain video quality. Um, and in fact, I'll be moderating a panel later today around this very question of video quality. But um, scalability is a concern, buffering is a concern. What we really see the two major issues consistently are latency and video quality. Latency is especially important from a live standpoint. Um, obviously, from an on demand standpoint, it doesn't really matter. But video quality is an important consideration across the board. Rob, uh, again, from your standpoint, the harmonic standpoint, what's your take on this? Yeah, this this is another one that that doesn't really surprise me. Um, and you know, harmonic comes from you know a really rich history in video compression technology. Um, so you know, cloud cloud technology aside, uh, this is an area that we're especially authoritative in. Um, there's been some really great technology updates uh, in the industry in general to, to deal with these problems. Uh, so video quality when it comes to streaming is, you know, a, a function of a, a couple different things, right? It's how much time do you want to spend actually looking at the video to, to encode it, uh, which can, you know, increase your, your latency from source to screen. Um, and how much do you want to compress it? How much uh, visual artifact, you know, do you want to induce into that video to, to reduce the amount of bandwidth that you're consuming? Um, really great advent here is, uh, you know, content aware encoding uh, using things like uh, machine learning or artificial intelligence to be aware of what it is that's happening in a scene where the important bits are and being able to determine on the fly which of those things in the scene you you really need to dedicate those bits to versus you know what's the background what can i really just cut bits from without people noticing um real results that we've seen in this area is that you can get bandwidth savings of 30 to 50 percent on really you know high res content without losing any quality that the human eye can see, um, which you know is, is really great for anyone that's looking to do streaming online these days. Uh, on the latency side, um, you can do a lot of that with low latency encoding. Uh, and then you've also got new advents in the, the actual streaming containers themselves. So things like low latency HLS or low latency dash, um, where they're focused on delivering that video as, as quickly as possible so that you're not lagging behind a, a traditional TV experience uh, or, you know, even some, some tangential benefits like channel change time. Um, you know, that was huge when online streaming first became a thing. Having to wait, you know, 30 seconds to change a channel was, was really painful. And, you know, now we've got that down, uh, to a place that I think is really competitive with a, a normal set-top box delivered over traditional means.